Hey everybody, I'm here today with a video on the Epson ET-2760 and in this video I'll be talking about the Epson ET-2760 not printing in black ink, okay? I'll be going over how to fix it in this easy tutorial. Let's get right into the video. So let's say you have this printer, once again, the Epson ET-2760. It's an EcoTank printer. This is mine and I absolutely love it. And it's not printing with black ink, okay? I'll be going over eight easy fixes in this easy tutorial and hopefully you can get it working again. So number one, the easiest thing to do is unplug the printer for a minute, plug it back in after that minute has passed. Um, if it's a simple malfunction or a glitch or an error, that will likely fix the problem right there. Number two, if that doesn't work, you're going to keep going on obviously to the next one uh, after you've tried each one. So number two is, is there paper jammed in the printer? Now, basically, um, sometimes on, on a rare occasion, a piece of paper, a little fragment of paper can be caught in the printer and can obstruct the black ink um, nozzle or any of the colors specifically, okay? So with that being said, you know, look in the printer and see if there's anything caught. You want to get access to where the printer um, nozzles are. So you can actually just lift this up and see what's going on in there. And you can see if there's anything jammed in there. Especially if recently, you know, you might have had a paper jam. This is something to look into. Or if you have like, you know, 5, 10, 20 different users printing off the same printer, you don't know if there's a paper jam that someone else dealt with. So look into this, okay? If, you, if that doesn't work, you're going to move on to number three, which is try printing in color. If you can print in color, then you know it's not a problem with the overall printer or the its ability to print pages. Um, if there's black ink within the color page, so let's say you print a color picture and there's a little bit of black ink in it. If that black ink does not show up, then you know it's specifically a problem with the black printer head nozzle or the black ink being delivered to that printer head nozzle. Um, if, in, if it doesn't work when you print color, then obviously you have a printing problem overall, not just a problem with black ink. And that's because you might have only tried to print in black and white and it's not printing and you're assuming that it's a problem with the black ink, but in reality, it can be a problem with the overall printer you just haven't tried printing in color so be sure to try printing in color to just try and narrow down the problem number four is there black ink okay now it's cool because you get to see how much ink is in there but if you don't know what to look for you might see the whole thing being this color and think that it's full when in reality the darker color means that there's ink in there but if the whole thing is this color here the lighter color you might think it's just filled to the top make sure that there's black ink in there okay and if you want if you have extra black ink maybe just refill it because on a rare occasion i mean i don't know that this has ever happened but i think that it's possible you have, might have ink that has just sort of stayed on the on the outer edge here where it looks like it's full but in reality it's empty in there so maybe the ink looks like it's full because it's all stained over here but in reality it's actually empty there like I said I don't think I don't know if it has happened but I think that it is possible okay number five update the printers firmware so when I turned on my printer this morning it told me there was a firmware update I didn't do it yet but I will do it uh, right after making this batch of videos um, you know when when printers update their firmware uh, they fix problems they fill in gaps and stuff like that and maybe the problem that you're experiencing is because you're on an outdated firmware Okay, not very likely if the problem has just sort of arisen out of nowhere, but it might be. So update the firmware and, um, you know, because if you didn't update the firmware, maybe it's causing a glitch or a malfunction. So be sure to update the firmware. Number six, check the nozzles. Now, there's actually a setting that you can go to in the maintenance menu, which I already have pulled up over here, that allows you to check the nozzles. It prints a test paper, and on that test paper, it shows the various colors. So it'll show, it'll show lines with black, yellow, magenta, and cyan, okay? And... It asks you if you can see all the colors. If the black is not there, if the black ink is not there, the black ink lines are not there, then you know you have a problem with the black ink. Um, if the other ones aren't there as well, then you know you have a problem with all of your inks. Okay, now with that being said, that brings us to, that was number six, to check the nozzles. Um, and then, yeah, so check the nozzles using the maintenance menu, the nozzle check. And then number seven, if your black ink is not showing up, you can actually unclog the nozzles by cleaning the printer head. So basically, it asks you once you've done that check of the nozzles, if you see all of the segments or if any segments are missing, and if you don't see a specific 
specific segment like the black ink, for instance, it, it tells you it can unclog them. So go ahead, number seven is to go ahead and unclog them, okay? And then you can print another test sheet and see if that helps out, okay? Lastly is number eight. If that none of this works, then you might just have a, a software glitch or a, like a, a glitch or a malfunction on here. Maybe your hardware is fine, but maybe you're having a software issue or a malfunction or an error or a glitch of some sort. So you can just factory reset the printer. You can do that through the, uh, I believe it's the settings or the setup menu. Um, really easy to do. You just go to the reset option and you reset all. Um, and that will erase everything from the printer and you're gonna have to start fresh. But luckily this printer takes like only a few minutes to set up. It's really quick and easy and straightforward. So you can try that out and hopefully that fixes the problem. And that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.